everyone. This is a really fun look. I actually dreamt this look last night. Yes, yeah, sometimes I do dream makeup, but I dreamt this look and so I spent the morning playing with it and trying to get it and then I decided that I was going to do a tutorial on it. Um, I had a lot of trouble getting it symmetrical on both sides while I was filming. I was quite able to do it when I wasn't filming, but when you're filming everything's a little harder and it's a little harder to see and I didn't have Daniel here to film for me. But um, this is the look. It's, it was a lot of fun to do. I really hope you like it. If you want to learn how to do it, keep watching it. I'll show you how. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is apply just a tiny bit of Vaseline just to the lid. We're not going to go above crease with this, just right on the lid. The next thing I want to do is use Vamp from Beauty From The Earth. It's kind of like a red with um, sparkles in it. And I'm going to apply that over the first half of my lid, just like this. I'm just going to pat that on there. We're just going to pat that on there until we get it the way we want it. We're only going about halfway across. There's not a lot of colors involved with this look, so it's pretty straightforward. After we get that on, I want to use Hollywood Secrets by Beauty From The Earth. It's like a dark purple black with like reddish purplish sparkles in it. And I'm going to put that over the rest of our lid. Just pat it in, and then when, just patting it in, and then we're just going to blend out the line where the two colors meet, kind of bring that purple forward a bit, so that there's not an obvious harsh line. Then I'm just going to use a generic black eyeliner pencil, and I'm just going to draw first a line right into my crease. And down. I see I've got a little bit of fallout so I'm just gonna whisk that away right now. I think it's because the, I've been I've got a mirror over here so I'm kind of trying to look into both the mirror and the camera because the camera is too small to really let me know how things are going. And I don't have Danny here. It's a good thing I practiced the other day doing it without Danny because sure enough it's Christmas holidays and he's out running around with his friends. Now once we get, let me just make sure I got it in there and as far forward as I do on the other side. Let's see, on that side it comes to there and on that side it comes, that's about even I think. Maybe a little bit further in, okay. Okay, maybe I forgot to put my highlighter on. And the highlighter will help the pencil glide better with any luck at all. Because on the other side I had already done the highlight before I started doing this. We're just going to, I've got to look into the mirror a lot for this and I'm not going to talk a lot during it because it's very hard, but I've got to try and get these lines symmetrical with these lines. And I'm going to try to get these even with the other side. Then. I'm sorry about that. I had to look into my mirror a lot when I was doing that because it's very hard to get even with the other side. And believe it or not, I have filmed this part of the video about 13 times and had to redo it because it just... And then we're just drawing a line down on the underside and filling it in. It's just very hard to get it all symmetrical. And now I'm going to use... NYX's black shadow applied wet over the lines we just drew just to deepen them. And 
And then this last one here. So now we're just going to take a white creamy base. I'm going to use my Kryolan white, but you could use any white creamy base, including um, NYX, white, or NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil. We're just going to draw a line on the inside of all of those lines we just created. So just right down the inside like this. I can't see very well on the camera, so I have to look off to my mirror for this part. I'm sorry, guys. And then I'm going to use a white color. I'm going to use Auraline's Vanilla and just go over top of that very neatly. Okay, so we're just going over that with our white shadow, just right over our lines. Now next, I want to apply eyeliner. I'm just going to use Auraline Gel Liner, and I am going to be do my eyeliner, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've got my upper lashes lined, for my, um, what I want to do, is I'm just going to use that same liner, and I'm not going to add any more product, and I'm going to go underneath. Okay, and we had a slight mishap in that I had to get some stuff off my camera because it was full. And in order to continue filming the tutorial, I had to remove some things from it. And then I came back and filmed the rest of the look, only to discover that the camera was not on. So let me tell you what I did. I took the brush that I applied the gel liner with, and I pulled my nose and I came down to a point right about here and attached it to the liner on my lower lashes. And then I took NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and I drew along my waterline and I filled in that little spot in the... I guess the lower tear duct. And then I also colored in that spot on the lower tear duct with Oraline Vanilla Eyeshadow. Then I applied Prestige My Biggest Lashes Mascara. And at that point is when I realized that I wasn't filming anything. But the look was done, so there was nothing I could do but to just tell you what I did. And this is our final look. I really hope you like it. Bye!